Colorado's been hitting on all cylinders the last few games. They've ripped off a string of Ws, trying to extend that streak. But the key is keeping Big Mo on your side. That does it for us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Enjoy the game. We'll see you at the half. Stadium, the setting for this college football showdown. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. This one underway as the teams are lined up for the opening kick. Back to return. He'll return it from the one. What a collision! So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. They get nice yardage on that run. Colorado's got a guy that statistically is leading the conference right now, and he has got the attention of everybody in the country, including the coordinators. It's second and four to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. And he's tackled at the 40. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. He's tackled at the 43. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. This is a pretty good play here by the junior safety stepping up and making a good tackle on the ball carrier. Second and seven. Ball on the 43. Caught. Open field. Brought down at the 41-yard line. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. the stop the 39 yard line that makes it second and eight yard line. It's second down. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. Powell gets six yards on the play. That'll bring up third and two. it out to about the 31 yard line what is going on with his defense i mean don't get me wrong the offense is doing a nice job with first downs and they're executing well but the defense is just letting them maintain possession and move the ball right down the field they've got to try to change things up with their scheme 
Be more aggressive. Attack. Do some things to change it up. Take some risks. Nice run to the outside. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. From the 24-yard line, it's second down. Quick out to his receiver. Tackle made at about the 11. That one goes for good yardage and a first down. Yeah, that's just a nice gain on that second down. First and 10. This is the 10th play of this drive. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Powell picks up about seven yards on the run. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. And now he pitches it. Touchdown, Colorado! Nice job by the offense to get the final few yards to the end zone. Yeah, they knew what play to call for in that situation and made it work. And he hits the PAT. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese. The Cowboys came into the game ranked fifth. After that performance, they'll drop like a stone. We've seen an upset. Coming Colorado to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. to his tight end, nothing to it. There was just no way anybody could catch up with that pass. From their own 25-yard line, second down. Good pass, and he's right there to knock it away. Well defended that time. You're right, great job here by the defender playing the ball, keeping his balance and getting in the way of that pass. Man, as an offensive lineman, this is the worst thing that you want to see. Is your quarterback not only getting sacked, but getting hit like that? Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of him. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. Let me hear it. Let me feel you. Brought down at the 46. Sure, that touchdown on their last possessions given them some confidence, but let's see if that carries them back down the field. So much of the passing game is about the time between the quarterback and his wide receivers. Right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. So it'll be second and 14 after the setback. Colorado is up a score. Nice run, and he's brought down. That's a game of seven on the play. That makes it third and seven. With the pass, incomplete. That'll make it fourth down, and they're going to have to punt. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended. Now the incompletion will force the fourth down and a punt. O'Neal to punt. He gets it away, and it's a skyrocket. Calls for the fair catch. Fair catch made at the 16-yard line. 
You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Did you see how much space there was for that tailback up front? He better be thanking his offensive lineman for that. From their own 26-yard line, it's first down. Woods gets another carry. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. No gain on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. Throws into coverage, just picked off. At the 30. Tackle right around the 28-yard line. He seemed a little hesitant on that throw. And that left the defender time to break on the ball and pick it off. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. Colorado up seven points. Gain as he works the right side. Powell gets six yards on the carry. That brings up second and five. They'll bring him down around the 16 yard line. Good for a gain of six yards. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 16. They hand it off again. Runs it left for a decent game. Gain of six on the play. That brings up second and five. From the 10-yard line, second down. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Called a gain of five yards. That makes it first and goal. converts the extra point. A five-play, 26-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. They line up to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Well, this defense has got to be proud of what they've been able to do in this football game so far. Love to see the goose eggs up there for this defense. And the way their offense is playing, this game is really shaping together for this team. They need to show a little giddy up now, because if they don't start eating into this deficit, they could easily fall out of the game. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. It's second and five here. Ball on the 30-yard line. Fires out to his wideout. And down he goes at the 43-yard line. Well, you give up too many passes like that, and the game will be done before you know it. They cannot let these receivers get behind them. Fire! 
finally taken down at the 11 yard line. down and 10 to go after the big gain on the run. And we've reached the end of one. 14-0 Buffalo. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. the middle for a nice game that's a gain of four on the play that'll make it second and seven they're at the seven second down brought down after a nice run up the middle woods gains around six yards on the run They put everyone up on the line. He's got the corner. Touchdown, Oregon State! When you're that close to the end zone, it's always a smart play to find your blockers and follow them into the end zone. adds the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Gets out to about the 21. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Colorado is up seven. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Game five on the play. That brings up second and five. From their own 26-yard line, it's second down. out to his receiver. He's taken down at about the 43-yard line. I like the call here by the deep with the outside linebacker. It was just a better call by the offense, and that's why it's a first down. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. Great penetration to get in there and sack the quarterback. That makes it second and 14. Looking to dig themselves out of a little hole here after the sack. It's second and 14. And off up the middle, and he's stuck. The defense was expecting the pass, and they defended the play very well in the second round. Colorado is up by a touchdown. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. 
He's out to the 30, and they push him out at the 34-yard line. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. It's a fumble. Defense says they've got it, and they do. Man, that is a tough break for the offense. You connect with your wideout hoping to make a play, and he winds up losing control of the ball. Man, that hurts. Momentum swings have been fairly even, and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Handoff inside. Good outside run there. Powell gets seven yards on the play. Seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And he's taken down at the 47, and he gets a yard on the run. to the tailback incomplete so the defense gets him to go three and out good job here defensively forcing this incomplete pass Colorado is up a score hangs it up high not only did that kick prevent a return but now he's given them almost a full field in front of him that's a super effort This offense was infected by the turnover bug their last time out. Let's see if they can hold on to the ball here. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. Nice run up the middle. Woods comes away with five yards on the carry. That makes it second and six. It's second down. They're deep in their own territory. They come out in a goal line set. Got the corner. He's to the 20. Brought down right around the 26-yard line. First and ten. Ball on their own 26. Ready. Ready. Oh, big hit. He's going to lose yardage. That's a loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. Stop at the 33 yard line. Third down. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. And he makes it out to about the 34 yard line. A one yard gain by the halfback. Fourth down. He's to the 40. He's pushed out of bounds. Right around the 42-yard line. It 
In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Colorado up seven points. Dumps it complete. It's the fullback over the middle. And he's tackled at midfield. That's a gain of eight on the play. That brings up second and one. It's second down now. They're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Tight ends got the first. Tackle made at the 43. Seven yard gain, and that'll be a first down. And how about the poise of this quarterback to locate his receiver, pass the sticks, and get him the ball? That was a great throw. When you've got a quarterback making throws that quickly, the defense doesn't have a lot of time to react to the play. Slings it out, and it gets tipped. Brad, this corner just made a great play on the football. So you wonder if he's starting to maybe get into the mindset of this quarterback, and maybe the quarterback's going to look in the other direction to try to come up with a completion. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. Dangerous throw, and this one's picked off. The linebacker here does a good job with his instincts and in getting in the path of the receiver. Boy, what a great play. First and ten. Ball on the 47-yard line. Oh, and almost picked off. Second and ten. Here we go. Green ninety. Green ninety. He gets rid of this one. That's what can happen when you run the same play. Yeah, you need to be aware of that and try to mix things up to keep the defense off balance. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 43. Mike 42, Mike 42. Come on. Man, this is tough going for this quarterback. Next time out, he needs to just relax. Think back to all those practices and not worry about what's happened in this game up to now. From the 15, tries to get around the corner. He's out to the 30, brought down at the 36. I'm sure the quarterback would love to make amends for that last pick. And I don't think this defense will lay down lightly. They're gonna try to continue to rattle this guy. Colorado is up seven. He hits him hard at the 45. Reynolds brings him down at the 45-yard line. That brings up second and one. Runs left and quickly taken down. Sometimes a play is not going to work for whatever reason. Doesn't mean you throw the play away. You just need to execute better next time. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Quick out to his receiver. He's tackled the 39-yard line. Colorado's going to have to use their second time out of the half. First down.
We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 39. Quickly to the tight end, incomplete. Overthrew his man, but boy, did he have some heat on him. He just needs to put a little bit more touch on that pass. Fired quickly, and he's got his man. Tackle at about the 17-yard line. First down. You know, at that point, I think, Brad, the quarterback's just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make a play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. From the 17-yard line, second down, Colorado is up by a touchdown. Makes the grab and steps out right away. With the reception, that's a gain of 10 on the play. That makes it first and goal. Here's the eighth play of the series. The kick is up, and it is good. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese. USC taking the field in Los Angeles. Check out these two teams keeping it close. The Sun Devils have the edge, 3-0. Ten-point game here, Reese, 17-7. As they head to the locker rooms, this one is far from over. 17-7, Colorado. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis, Dave Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. It is my job to come in and rain on a parade. I know, every, I know everything's gone right. I know they have all the momentum. I know that every little detail of the game plan has gone exactly as scripted. But, but, <laughs> overconfidence, too happy, too satisfied. How big a problem is that in the second half? But you always, you always have the excitement coming into the first half of a ball game, and you think it's going to be close when teams like this are evenly matched. But that doesn't mean you can lose your edge. That doesn't mean you can get complacent. A lot of times we see passion and energy in the first half, and it starts to wither away. they got to make sure that they keep the energy up, continue to make plays. Don't think that, you've, that you're there, because we've seen momentum switch like that. As soon as somebody flips a switch, it's hard to get it going back in the other direction. So you got to take advantage of these opportunities. We've done what we can do here at halftime. Time to get you back out to the second half. We'll keep an eye on everything going on in college football. Fred Nestler and Kirk Herbstreet ready for the call. All right, Reese Davids, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. Number seven, back to return. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Buffaloes continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Makes the catch, and the defense is all over him. They bring him down for a loss. Loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. From their own 23-yard line, second down. They'll bring him down around the 32-yard line. That makes it 33. Man left, man left. Two down, two down. Mike 42, Mike 42. And down he 
he goes at the 48-yard line. Nothing tentative on that run at all. He looked very determined and got the first down. From their own 48-yard line. First down. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. That's a loss of one yard on the play. That makes it second and ten. Fires this one. Finds the junior. He's taken down right around the 24-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 24. Throws to the receiver, incomplete. I think the quarterback that time just felt the pressure and just got rid of the football before he took the sack. Makes it second and ten. He gets out to about the 11-yard line. From the 11 yard line. First down. Up the middle for a nice game. It's the ninth play of the drive. Everybody bunched up tight defensively. And he's taken down at the three-yard line. Pickup of a yard for the tailback. That'll bring up 32. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. it in. Here's the point after to try to cut this to a three-point game. And he adds the extra point. A nice 10 play, 75-yard drive, and the result, seven points. They line up to kick this one away. Taken from the three-yard line. He makes it to the 25-yard line. Kirk, if this keeps going like it has been, we are going to have one exciting fourth quarter. I just hope we continue to see this kind of execution. It's a lot of fun to be able to watch these offenses make plays, and it kind of has that feel. Whoever does have the ball last and a chance to make a play could win this game. So they're just about set to get the game going again. Colorado is up by three. Got time, and now he might want to take off. Decides to slide. Gain of eight on the play. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Powell on the handoff. Gets to about the 34-yard line. there. 
So he got a few yards on that carry. If you can continue to pick up small chunks of yards like that, you can really start to wear a defense down. It's first and ten. Ball on the 38-yard line. He'll get the call again. They bring him down in the backfield. him hard at the 39. Gets hit out of bounds at the 46 yard line. Call it a gain of 15 yards. First down. Sophomore brought down around the 33 yard line. Hunt with the tackle at the 33 yard line. First down. Check, check. Alert, predator, predator. From the 33 yard line, it's first down. Nice run, and he's brought down. Makes the tackle. Call it a gain of six yards. That'll make it second and four. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. And they make the stop right around the 30. That was a loss of three yards. That makes it 37. Third down, and they need to get it to the 23. Hit immediately in the backfield. Colorado has a three point lead. And he's level at the 19 yard line. That's good for a gain of 12 yards. That makes it first and 10. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 19-yard line. And he's tackled around the 10-yard line. That's good for a gain of nine yards. That brings up second and one. 13th play of the drive coming up. Gets out to about the nine-yard line. That's a gain of one on the play. That makes it first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. On the ball, on the ball. Hustle back, hustle back. Pressure coming, and the ball is loose. And the defense picks it up. And that's exactly what this defense was looking for. Yeah, that fumble gives these guys some added life. Now let's see if they can capitalize off of it. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Black 90. Black 90. 
Woods takes it up the middle. Runs outside for a nice game. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Receiver, but it's knocked down. Number eight is the intended receiver on the play. That makes it third and three. Larry, Larry. See it up. Mike's 42. Mike's 42. Ready. Green eyes up. Big opening. He makes his way to about the 38. A great game so far, and it looks like it'll be decided in the fourth. Colorado's got a three-point lead. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Makes the grab past the marker. Tackle made right around the 32-yard line. From the 32-yard line, first down. And they got him for a loss. More plays like this, and the coaching staff is going to need to change up the blocking scheme. You can't allow the defense to play in your backfield. Couldn't hang on here in the fourth quarter. Number seven was the intended receiver on the play. That brings up third and 12. They really need to pick up this third and long here in the fourth quarter. And he hits him hard at the 40. I think this defensive end is doing a great job of getting after the quarterback. Not only with the sack, and this like the entire game, he's done a good job of creating pressure, making this quarterback feel him, and almost giving him happy feet back there. He doesn't seem to be in rhythm, and almost seems to be throwing the football, feeling the, the pressure, and almost creating nerves on the quarterback. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Colorado is up a field goal. Hands it off on the delay. Tackle at the 22. Second and eight. Ball on the 22. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Throws incomplete. Broken up. This is going to be a first down. He's tackled at about the 37-yard line. Good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. First and 10. Ball on their own 37. He fights forward to about the 40. He's got 
got it with room to run. They'll bring him down at the 46. That's a gain of six on the play. That'll bring up third and inches. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. He makes his way to about the 42. Call it a game of 12 yards. That makes it first and 10. Colorado is up by three. They'll keep it on the ground again. And they'll bring him down behind the line. the 44-yard line. It's second down. Incomplete. And that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. We're at play number nine of this current drive. the first down catch and he is drilled at the 28 that's a game of 16 on the play first down from the 28 yard line first down gains his way to the 16 yard line that's a game of 12 on the play First down. This is the 11th play of this drive. He fights forwards about the 16. No game. That makes it second in time. From the 16-yard line, it's second down. Colorado holds a field goal lead. They'll drop him for a loss. This is the 13th play of this drive. the end zone intercepted that interception breathes new life into this team I'm not quite sure I would have made that pass it obviously wasn't open this quarterback's got to be more conservative with the ball when they have the lead late in the game like this first and ten ball on the 13 it out to his receiver in a hurry. And down he goes at the 24. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. He's to the 40. He's taken down right around the 46-yard line. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 46-yard line. Mike 42, Mike 42. Let's go! Makes it out to about the 46. 
makes it second and two. Man left, man left. Three down, three down. Just over two minutes in the game. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. He's taken down around the 38-yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. Here's the eighth play of the series. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. The tackle. Gain of three on the play. That'll make it third and five. And so it's another third down upcoming here. That could be trash. Let's go. Mike 42, Mike Zach 42. Green 88. Mike. Well, you can see the elation on the defensive coordinator's side of things, and why not? His defense just came up with one of the biggest stops of the game in a vital spot in this fourth quarter. It's up. No good. He hooked it right. So they come up empty-handed there. Kickers have to have a short memory. Just go out and make the next one. Late in the fourth quarter in a one-possession game. And poise is what it's all about here. Who's going to have it and who won't? Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Pickup, Oregon State will take their first time out of the half. From their own 39 yard line. Second down. They hand it off. He fights forward to about the 39. Oregon State's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. Call their final timeout. Coming, waiting the return. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. And for Woods, it's been a fun afternoon. You know, the most impressive thing you could say is not only does the entire defense know, the entire stadium knows he's going to get the football, and they still cannot slow him down. That's a commitment by the running back. It's also a commitment by the offensive line and the coach. You know, it's his ability to fight for extra yards that I think is really standing out to me because the defense is there many times to make the play, but his determination and strength, I think, at this point, has just been too much of this defense to handle. Got a receiver and he dropped it. Incomplete. Number seven was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. From their own 20-yard line. Second down. Three down, three down. Under a minute left in the game. Here we go. Gray 95. Quick pass, man open, and he dropped it. That looked like the same play they just called. Yeah, it was. The defense was ready for it this time. He's going to be 
sack for a loss. What a play by this defense. And now, this offense is under a ton of pressure. It'll be fourth down. They need points on the board, and they aren't anywhere near the end zone. So let's see if they can come up big right here. Wears it out to the right to the halfback. Wow, you just got to love it for this defense. They come up with the stop of the ball game and maybe the season. This is where the offense has to come to the forefront. They work all week for situations like this. They've got the lead. They've got a chance to add to it, and that'd mean a victory. If you're an offensive coordinator, you love this play. His quarterback will take a knee. Buffaloes with the win, 17-14. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.